Finally, Russia's secret new fighter jet is officially out in the open. Last month, aviation enthusiasts spotted Russia's secret new fighter jet shortly after the plane's manufacturer began teasing its reveal. Observers noticed the jet, draped in black fabric, adjacent to a large hangar. The covering is just form-fitting enough to show off some of the fighter's interesting details, building up anticipation before the official reveal. Last week, United Aerospace Company, an umbrella corporation that includes the famed McCoy & Gervich and Suhoi Design Bureaus, posted this image to Instagram. The aerospace company is comparing its new, unnamed fighter to a UFO, linking it to US military's sightings of unexplained aerial phenomena in recent years. UAC also posted a second image of a night chess piece flying above an aircraft cockpit. The cockpit canopy frame bears a suspicious resemblance to that of the FA-18EF Super Hornet, the fighter involved in the Navy's infamous UFO sightings. After a week of entertaining hype, Russia officially revealed its second fifth-generation fighter jet. The Checkmate fighter is designed to go head-to-head -head with the F-35 Joint Strike fighter both in the skies and the export market. The plane's fire sale price and rapid development schedule, however, seem almost too good to be true. Russia and United Aerospace Company, an umbrella corporation that includes the famed McCoy & Gervich and Suhoi Design Bureaus, unveiled the fighter jet at the MOX 2021 air show in Moscow on Tuesday with President Vladimir Putin on hand to personally inspect the aircraft. The fighter jet features an unusually pointy nose and an engine intake below the cockpit. The Checkmate also has an internal weapons bay designed to preserve its anti-radar shaping and can carry both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground ordnance, including both infrared and radar-guided air-to-air missiles, air-to-ground and anti-ship missiles, guided and unguided bombs, and unguided rockets. The Checkmate is designed as a short takeoff and landing fighter jet, a feature that lends itself to operating from aircraft carrier flight decks and runways damaged by enemy action. The plane has a combat radius of 1,500 km or 932 miles, or the distance a Checkmate that's fully laden with missiles and bombs can travel, fight, and then return to base. The plane will have a top speed of 1,180 miles per hour. Suhoi, in a dig against the F-35, says the Checkmate is capable of continuous supersonic flight a nod to last year's revelation the F-35 can only fly supersonic for 50 seconds before possibly damaging the plane. Suhoi claims its aircraft is capable of 8 grams maneuvers. The Checkmate, like the F-35, can share data in the air with other fighter jets. The new fighter will also come in an unmanned version, opening up the possibility that one manned Checkmate might control several unmanned versions in battle. UAC promises three configurations basic, medium, and full though it's not clear what any of that means. The fighter will feature a streamlined maintenance system. Then there's the Checkmate's claimed unit price of $25 to $30 million. That's less than half the flyaway cost of the F-35, which currently costs about $78 million. UAC says the first Checkmate will fly in 2023, with actual deliveries of combat-ready airplanes to commence in 2026-2027. UAC and the Russian government appear to be heavily courting foreign sales, and likely even foreign development investment. 
While the speeches and voiceovers at the event were in Russian, two large displays over the aircraft gave a running description of the plane's features in English. Russia could be shopping for a partner to help develop the plane, just as India helped fund development of the Su-57. New Delhi later dropped out of the program out of frustration at the lengthy delays and cost increases. The Checkmate's development schedule, from dummy mock-up to deliveries of combat-ready planes in just six years, is very ambitious. But Suhoi appears to be leveraging much of its experience in developing the Su-57, so that will be a big help. The company could also be using the same digital engineering techniques that allowed the U.S. Air Force to design and fly its own secret new fighter jet in just one year. That plane, the next-generation air dominance fighter, is still years from becoming a frontline fighter. But if UAC can keep costs down and stick to its development schedule, it could hurt the F-35 in the foreign sales market. The F-35 is the equivalent of a Mercedes-Benz, but there are plenty of countries that would be perfectly happy to have a Hyundai.